Hello farmers, welcome back to Green Mountain Forest where I just got done recording an episode that you'll never see because I did not hit the record button. Fabulous, right? Uh, <laughs> nothing better where it's like, yeah, hey, I'm done recording and I like save record and, and I hit the button that says recording starting. I'm like, no, you mean recording saving, right? Yeah. Haven't done that in a while. Uh, it's been... <laughs> I don't know, I think about a year ago I did that on a Farmer's Dynasty episode. Um, but, uh, yeah, the one thing I'll have to edit out is when I hit the button to save recording and it said start recording, um, I'll have to edit that part out because uh, there's some words in there that probably shouldn't be put on YouTube. Um, so, <laughs> uh, sorry to say, you missed a, a pretty darn good episode. Uh, one of the best ones I've ever done. Probably not, uh, but uh, yeah, to bring up the speed of everything I did. Oh uh, yeah, it was so great. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll get to it. So yeah, uh, oh man, how do I even start now? I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I ended the episode with me saying I better get down the carton factory because uh, yeah, there's no more room for paper and whatnot. So I need to come down here and clear this out. So here I am clearing this stuff out and selling it. So we are in the sixth day of spring. Um, now we are in the afternoon. I started the episode in the morning. So, um, yeah, I did some landscaping on the fifth day of spring. As you can see, I got more room around the back side of the carton factory. Uh, the snow's all gone. <sighs> yeah, I got to remember what I, uh, what I did before recording and during the recording. And now, yeah, this. Um, so, yeah, uh, some landscaping here. A lot to bring up to date. Uh, I got a good amount of cash, and I'll tell you why in a while, uh, because we're going to go ahead and work on the, uh, that part in just a little bit. Uh, but what did I do already, see? Uh, so we, uh, we seeded the three fields. Uh, I got two fields of oats, one field of canola. Uh, the one thing I did learn is I did the first two fields of oats, and, you know, I was hemming and hawing about that third field for a while. What should I plant there? And I got so excited, I just finally said, you know what, let's plant soybeans. I started planting soybeans. And as you can see, the ground temperature right now is 48 degrees. Um, I went, oh, wait a minute. I need to check something. Uh, soybeans need to be 50. So luckily, I only went a very little bit. And that's, uh, I barely went maybe like maybe 50 yards or so. And stopped and said, oh, no, soybeans. Uh, no, can't do that. I need, so we end up planting uh, canola down, and yes, you can go back over where you seeded and overseed what you seeded. Uh, what else did we do? Well, I'll show you that in just a little while, because uh, <laughs> well, this time we got. I, I ended up putting down the mushroom factory. Shane came around, put down the mushroom factory on the fifth day of spring, so we got that up and going. Yeah, I know the mushroom factory. It's it's up and going. Uh, so that's why I was kind of down here. We loaded up the pallets and the carton, or the cardboard. There's a carton of cardboard. I forgot which. Uh, but it, we loaded up, and when we went up to the mush mushroom factory, um, the mushroom factory took it right off the trailer. So you don't. Uh, I loaded it, loaded it on a trailer. Yeah, I got a trailer, flatbed trailer. I can show you that in a while too. Um, loaded that little trailer up with the cardboard and the the pallets, brought it up, and took it right off. So you don't need to unload it. Um, it loaded it right, I, you know, I just took it right off. But I needed the Case International up there anyways to put the manure in. But once I get this done, we'll, I'll take it up to the farm. You can kind of see what I've been up to. Let's see if I can grab another pallet here. This would be good. So I'll tell you what, uh, probably the best thing for me to do is finish doing what I'm doing here. I'll take up the farm and it'll be better to, for me to explain it as I show it to you. So now that I sold everything, we got the bank account back over $200,000. I did wash the Volvo truck. I think uh, the pressure washer, I did show you last time. Yeah, I'm selling the other one because the pressure washer wand, every time I loaded the game, even though it was on the ground when I saved it, when I reload the game, the pressure wand would just not be there. So I got tired of fiddling with that. So yeah, the water tanker's up here because I had to fill it up to fill up the mushroom factory. Uh, I got to stop calling the mushroom factory. I need to call it something else because it's not really a factory. So the bale shredder sold that and bought this Coon bale shredder for 25 grand. 
one bale fits in there nice and easily. Um, and you'll see here in a second, the mushroom factory over the hill. And there it is. Yeah, I just got done kind of showing you guys how it works. So anyways, um, yeah, so the cardboard and pallet, 16,000 liters of each is what it takes. Uh, if you just drive the trailer right over, uh, this trailer right here, which I purchased as well for 7,000. Um, yeah, that trailer right there, will just, this uh, factory would take it right off for you. Um, there's Pedro or whoever, Jose, I don't know. Uh, 16,000 liters of water, 16,000 liters of manure, and I want to see how many liters of mushroom it creates, and there's the mushrooms. So you can kind of picture before, when, it, when it's, uh, it's kind of like the strawberry factory you have on Hazard County. Um, when it's not running, you just don't see the mushrooms here, and everything else is still the same. Um, I did mention of, uh, why is it that modders always got to put, like, junk in some of the mods? I mean, I appreciate what modders do and everything to create mods, but uh, why does it always have to be like a junky car and, and trash kind of thrown around everywhere? Um, it was a little fun backing up the bale shredder into the cow barn, but uh, it's not that hard at all, really. It was rather, I don't want to say simple, but it's, it's kind of easy to do. Uh, we took the bucket, cleaned up the cows and the sheep. Remember, sheep have uh, cleanliness with manure, so I put the manure in the, uh, the mushroom... Mushroom garden. Uh, yeah, and we took just about all the manure out of here for the cows. I don't think the cows are going to produce enough manure to keep up with the mushroom garden. So the cows are pretty well taken care of. Uh, the one thing I did notice, and I didn't think you could do this previously, was I took the silage that the cows have spilt out. And usually when you try to put it into a bunker that's got stuff, something in it, it wouldn't allow it. But uh, it allowed me to dump the silage there. And our silage is now, well, it's almost, almost fermented. Um... Let's see, what else did I do? Yeah, yeah, I did a little landscaping as well. Yes, I did do some landscaping. You can see I put some dirt around here. Uh, I level out the ground there so the mushroom garden could be put down. And now, I didn't do that during the episode. I did this uh, on day five of spring. I put a little path from here around to the sheep and up to the main farm. I didn't go any further because I do want to... We got to put down a horse paddock around here. So, I didn't want to create a road that uh, was going to go right through a horse paddock yet. So... Um, I'll get to that at a later date. Uh, what else have I done here? Uh, I already showed you the bale shredder. Um, yeah, this barn's going to be going. I love the looks of the barn, but since it's not seasons ready, uh, I think we're going to have to swap it out. I think Alien Jim's barns probably go here. I'll probably have to put two of Alien Jim's barns up. At least with Alien Jim's barns as well, they're a little bit wider. And the way I back up, I could use all the room I need. Uh, also... Around the silo, and yes, by the way, oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, we got traffic going around because the road is complete going around. Going around. Uh, that's the local cop, by the way, making his rounds. I guess we have a local cop now. I mean, we do have factories and whatever. So I got a couple birch trees up here, a U uh, United States flag, and the white, the white fence is up. Uh, the birch trees might go when fall gets here. Uh... I think it was the birch trees when Seasons came out for 19. If these are the birch trees from 17 when Seasons uh, hits fall, these leaves may not may not change. Uh, we do know the oak and the maple trees do here because those were up last year. If that's the case, we'll have to uh, take down these trees. Uh, I think I know how to at this point and uh, replace them with something else. But it just kind of covers up the silo a little bit when uh, traffic comes up the road. So, yeah, it makes it look, it kind of hides the silo. I mean, you can still still see the silo. I mean, you look at the screen yourself and how it looks, but I think it looks much better there. Uh, where, uh, before I go, um, yeah, I kind of forgot now. The, did you see my case Puma anywhere? Where, oh, yeah, it's down at the cows. Uh, I need that. We need that. I might as well take that. Uh, I don't need the truck, but I, what I will need is I'll have to move my fertilizer spreader and we're going to grab the subsoiler. And, uh, yeah, we'll go past the, <laughs> yeah, I know, I seeded the three fields, yep. I don't know if you're going to see, uh, you probably won't see me seed today either at this point. Unfortunately, the thumbnail is probably going to be me seeding the fields, but you're going to be like, I just saw a whole episode where he's, you know, his thumbnails, he seeded the field. Yeah, I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there for now. I'm a little frustrated, you know, you spend an hour recording an episode and then um, you found out you didn't record it. Well, let's go ahead in here. 
Yeah, I gotta take a day off in the uh, summer. It's not gonna take me too long. Probably a couple of in-game hours. Take all this stuff out, swap it around. Um, I can probably put this in front of the wind drawer because I don't need that for a while. And we'll grab the subsoiler. Um, I also thought about, uh, okay, well, I'm going to create a field. Why don't I do it like I did last time where, you know, cut the grass and do what, you know, make hay or grass. Uh, grass does not help me because the bunker is kind of full at the moment. And making hay is not much of an option either at this point because I need to flip this field over because we are in the sixth day of spring. And I got to, uh, we're going to be planting corn in this field that we're creating. So, yeah, it's going to be the first day of summer. Uh, you two are not going to run into it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so core needs, the ground temperature needs to be 50. It is now 48. Yep, we bought our seed from Elaine. All that good stuff. So there's, there's an oat field. Oh yeah, the field at the main farm back there is oats. That is oats. Oh, the one thing I did want to check. And like, uh, what we're going to do is instead of checking the map to see how everything's going, I mean, yeah, we, we're in the standing of the field. We can see it's 100% fertilized, but we're going to use this little handy dandy tool. 100% fertilized, ground is 9% wet, our crops are 17% wet, and 0% growth stage, that's because it has not fer uh, uh, germinated yet because we just planted it a little while ago. I do have an issue with the road down here. On the fifth day of spring when I was, uh, we're going to be going up there, by the way. Uh, but I will come on down here just to show you that the road has been extended. So the road ended right here at the machine shop. And I did have a little conversation with Wayne about the, uh, if you remember the story about the T6, it's uh, sitting in the shop. Um, the engine is gone in it, a brand new tractor with the engine gone in it. Uh, but yeah, the road stopped here, and but now you can see that it doesn't anymore. It continues on up. So... Apparently, uh, yeah, Wayne leased out, we got a tree something I got to take care of. Uh, yeah, if you forget, did, don't, don't remember, Wayne leased out the T6, uh, brand new tractor, and it ran just for about, a, I mean, a few minutes, and then, boom, uh, it stopped. And come to find out the engine seized in it. And, uh, yeah, they shipped the uh, engine out with no oil in it. So there it sits. Um, I guess he's in conversation with New Holland trying to figure out what they're going to do. And I said, well, keep me in mind uh, what they're going to do with it because, uh, yeah, we need a third tractor. Uh, the reason being, I don't, either the tractors that we have do not take narrow tires. Uh, the T6, I, asked, I did that uh, check with Wayne, but I kind of saw this on the website that the T6 does take narrow tires. And I said, look, I'm looking for a third tractor that takes narrow tires. If I can get that tractor for a discount because of the situation that's in, um, I'd be interested. And so he's going to keep me in mind, keep us posted of what's going on. I may just have to buy the tractor and, uh, you know, maybe New Holland will send me the motor or whatever. So there's our dirty seed roll because we planted canola in this field. And I did up finding a tree stump here. But I kind of remember saying there's a tree stump here. I need to take care of it. And, um, well, we got the seed right over it. So, yep, this field as well. Chainsaw doesn't help, but this does. So you can see uh, we, got, we got canola. Same situation here. Um, that should be all good to go. So I apologize for you not being able to see me see the first three fields. I was rather... And I was really excited too because, you know, we worked kind of hard to get uh, all this land cleared and, you know, doing everything we have. And now we're actually seeding some fields in. But unfortunately... Only I get to see it because, uh, yeah, I didn't hit the record button. I have no idea. Anywho, so where did all the money come from, you say, that, that we have? You know, 206000 and you bought all that stuff. Where did all the money come from? Right here. There's a lot of trees missing. A lot of trees missing. So when I was cutting up here, um, like I said, I wanted to start creating more of an area for more fields. And when I was working on the fifth day of spring and I was going along, I'm like, you know, you're clearing up enough of here. If you get this turned over quickly, you can plant this spring some crop in it. And yeah, so I was talking when uh, when I was seeding those fields down there 
of let's go ahead and plant corn up here because where I live um, it's mostly corn that we plant mainly for cows for silage uh, we have a lot of cows up here but also we do plant corn uh, sweet corn as well for well us to eat so yeah I think it's a pretty decent sized area that we have going for us here uh, no traffic going along up here uh, this just goes up the cell phone tower instead of me just jabbering along how about uh, actually start getting going on this because we only got a four meter wide plow uh, allow create fields all right I don't need that anymore the beautiful little HUD and we'll just start going along here let's go ahead and drop the plow down or subsoiler and get to work I probably should have fueled up the case Puma I just remembered now at the end of the episode I was looking at the fuel on the case boom like whoa I'm getting kind of low on the fuel we'll be fine I mean if we start to get low I'll just head on over to Wayne's and top it off so I don't mind putting corn in here I mean it does mean I do have to buy the other cutter for the harvester but that's fine uh, we're bringing in, in enough cash to do so because uh, we bought in most everything that we do need for now uh, like the only thing we we're gonna need is both headers, so that could cost me. I, I really, I, I forgot now. Uh, <laughs> I've been, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing on four maps. You keep looking at prices, and uh, I want to say they're sixty thousand dollars a piece. Well, let's just say one hundred twenty thousand dollars for the headers. I really don't know. I'm probably off on that right now. Um, so I got the cash for that. Our mushroom garden is already in. Uh, I got the, the trailers and everything I need to transfer that around so uh, the only thing we probably will need will be a weeder at some point and with the fields being as small as they are um, yeah I'm not sure what weeder I think I may just go with the sprayer for herbicide only because the way the weeds grow I think I'll just spray the field when it gets ready just before harvest the fields are small enough and I think we'll be fine so this field, yeah, when I was when I'm, I was cutting uh, out for this field, I do want this field to be still bigger than it is, but for the amount of land I got cleared out, I said, you know what, it's too much land to just have sit here for a year. If we get time, we sh I just need to go ahead and take care of it and get it ready for this season. So why not? So here we are. Here we are making a fourth field. Not a fourth shield, a fourth field. So yeah, I think that kind of brings you up to date on everything I did. Um, yeah, so the road got put in. Uh, the mushroom fa uh, garden that we put down, um, yeah, the factory itself cost 60 grand and it cost me like five grand for landscaping. So there's that. And I think actually to put the road in, uh, that road wasn't that bad. I think it only cost me maybe 70 grand for all the landscaping I did. That includes the road and adding the extra dirt in behind the factory. So every time I do landscaping, I always go back to when patch, uh, what patch was it? Was it 1.3 for Farm and Slipper came out? That's when landscaping came in. It seemed like landscaping was really expensive. So either they modified that in a patch that I can't remember or what, but you know, when I got done, like, oh, that only cost me 70 grand to go ahead and do all that? Great. No problem. But I also feel good buying the... I, I went online looking for modded bale shredders. And there's not really much out there that I can find for bale shredders. I did find a placeable that could shred any kind of bale that you put into it. It can store up to liters. But I didn't, I didn't want to put down a, a silo that shredded... Uh, grass bales, hay bales, and stores it. So, yep, I said, well, for 25 grand, I'll just go ahead and buy the, the traditional coon bale shredder that we do have. Then, of course, I put down the mushroom garden. I need to call it the garden because it's more of a garden to me than a factory. I put it down, I'm like, oh, that looks really great there. Flat out the land, it lines up nicely, it all looks good. And that's when I realized, I'm like, ooh, wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta bring a bale shredder in that door. And um, it's not extremely tight. It's a little snug, but uh, with the case puma and backing in there, it works out just fine. Which you would have saw if I hit the record button. So, 
And then I talked about, yep, in the next episode, which is now this one, uh, we'll be plowing this field. Um, and then uh, spread some fertilizer down, then put some lime down. And then hopefully on the first day of summer, the ground temperature gets up there. Yeah, the fifth day of spring, uh, the ground temperature hit hit uh, 43 degrees. So I think the ground temperature actually went from, I think it was like 36 degrees on the last episode that we saw. I'm like, well, it's still not warm enough to plant, so I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting down some trees. So this is where I was. I think I've been cutting down somewhere around 185 trees in this area. And we are just about at 2,000 trees cut down on this map. I'm at, I think, 1984 is where, where we uh, stand at the moment. And my next uh, job for cutting down trees after, after our job finishes here uh, planting the corn in. Uh, the big intersection is what we're going to probably end up calling it. Uh, nothing is there yet. Uh, but the big intersection, I need to go up there. So that's where the road kind of will cut off down to the sawmill, where it cuts down to where uh, our road meets here. Uh, and another road will cut down towards the quote-unquote beach. And uh, I'm going to call that the big intersection, I suppose. So I need to clear out an area for uh, two buildings that need to go in. One, as you saw, our town cop is riding around. Uh, he, he, they're requesting a, uh, a little office over here. And then they hand me the blueprints. I go, well, that's not a little office. But it's not that big either. And then there is a, uh, a buy point for us. Uh, well, a sell point for us. They buy from us. Uh, but yeah, they, uh, they want to move on in. They've been wanting to move in for a while. And I really need to get, get them in here to give uh, the salvage yard a little competition. So definitely when I get up there and cut down the areas for those two businesses yep we'll be over 2,000 trees cut but there is over 70,000 trees on this map alone so a ways to go not that I want to cut every single one of them now we just need to go ahead and finish plowing this up And it shouldn't take me too long, especially when you get to see it at eight times the speed. You were my best friend, didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you, just thinking we would do this until we couldn't. ahead and subsoil this field into place now has it oh and i was just getting ready to say you know what i did a pretty darn good job i don't see any tree stumps but i think i see one is there one here is that one right there i'm looking at i think so right to the left of us yep one tree stump ah, there might be another one here i just didn't see it didn't see that one either until the light hit it just right not too bad i, I suppose I kind of get upset at myself when I'm cutting the trees down if I don't get it like close to the ground. I mean, really, I should cut them up off the ground quite a ways so I can just go ahead and with a stump grinder and take care of them right away, easy to find. But to me, when I leave any part of the tree behind, I'm like, that's money I'm missing out on at the sawmill. But there we go. Uh, make sure I turn off allow create fields. Yep, that should have done it. Let's go ahead and grab our little meter. And what does it say for fertilization on this field? 
Okay, so why is this one at 0%? I plowed the other fields in. And it gave me a stage of fertilization. Up here it did not. Yeah, 0%. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, what's going on there. Because... Um, yeah, so if we go to our other fields... So, yeah, we plow the field. Then, of course, we fertilize it. And then I've seeded it. I said, well, no, I got one more stage to go. And then uh, I used our handy dandy little tool here. and said, no, you're at 100%. So it must be it gave me a stage of fertilization when I plowed it. Yeah, so you can see 100% fertilization on this field. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't know. But anywho, let's go ahead and let's go fuel up the tractor before I forget. Because I always say I'm going to do something later that I never do. And I don't think I showed you, like I said, there's something weird going on down here. Uh, between this intersection and the machine shop. So it's not on this side of the road. And I went into development mode and I can see what it is. And I don't know what is actually there. So now I just got to... I, find, I just got to find it. I, I was going back and forth when I was clearing out that land with the trees. And I was coming back up this road here with a Volvo truck. And uh, yeah, that was a, I mean, stopped dead in my tracks. I wonder if I'm going to run into it here. Probably one of those things. Oh, there it is. Boom. Uh, I have no idea what is there. So when I go into development mode, there's actually like two... Two objects, probably as high as the top of the, the hood on the tractor. So I don't know what is there. One of those things, uh, it's kind of the same thing like when you drive an ATS or ETS2 and you're driving on down the road on a modded map. And you're just driving along and, uh, and next thing you know, bam! It's like, what the heck did I just hit? Yeah, an invisible wall. That's what That's what's there. So yeah, a lot has gone on between last episode and this episode because a lot of it was intentional and a lot of it was my fault because I forgot to record button and I do apologize for that. But you'll get to see me seed in the next episode when we plant corn. Uh, that'll be the first day of summer. We'll be here. Yay, summer's here. Uh, maybe we'll actually get up in the 70 degrees. I don't, I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab some, some diesel fuel here. This will take a while. So I am very interested, um, now that FS21 or whatever it's going to be called when it does come out. Oh, you're done filling? Um, what new things they might be adding to the game. And I had a great idea, now I just, uh, I, just, I just forgot all about it. I did mention it <laughs> when I was thought I was recording. And I thought, I wonder if they'll be doing that. And then, uh, yep, I started talking about it because it was in my brain and I just lost it again. I'm losing my mind. Not that I didn't have much there to begin with to lose, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much gone now. So now the fields that we have are all set for this year. Um, I do want to make more fields and prep. Maybe in the fall I can plant some crops in. And do like a... Uh, they'll be ready to go when next season comes along. Let's go ahead and drop that there. Uh, yep, the Case Puma can just be parked right here. So, it's been about... Four hours for this mushroom garden to be growing. We do have a little bit of wool. How much wool do we have now? 1,300 liters, not too bad, but now we do have 10 sheep. Um, I did check on the status of the cows, and I think three of them, of course, we got only got four females. Three of them are expecting offspring. So, 1,800 liters in about three hours. I suppose it's not too bad. I just hope I get... Can I get 10 pallets out of it? So what I did was I filled up all these to the max. 
And I want to see how many liters we produce because if we go into the market here, um, we know the strawberries did rather well. But if you look at the price of mushrooms compared to strawberries, it's 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 like, uh, we'll just say just around 60% of the price. So I'm hoping that the mushrooms yield more than the strawberries did. So it kind of equals out. Only because, you know, we're not selling... We're not selling pallets of yeah. We're not selling pallets of pallets, or pallets of carton either. So before we're selling them, so we're bringing up here. Uh, so it takes like four of each. So that's eight. Um, that's going to be roughly two thousand dollars. No, that's not right. Hang on a second here. <laughs> what did I say? Eight. I see two is two thousand uh, times it by four. So yeah, eight thousand. Sorry, eight thousand dollars. I got eight thousand dollars worth of pallets and carton up here. So I better get a lot of. If I don't get a lot of cartons out of here for way mushrooms sell. Yeah, really, I'm gonna have to get a lot of mushrooms. Cause they're selling not for much more. I don't. We'll have to, we'll have to see how it comes out. I just gotta give it time, let it roll, see how it goes, uh, see what the best price is. And maybe I won't sell nothing until the other store comes in and uh, we can see what their prices are offered. So, yeah, my cows are all set. Uh, all eight of them. Sheep are doing well. Like I said, a lot of things change. Uh, I'll apologize for last time for not hitting the record button. Um, yeah, basically all I did was I just seeded three fields and talked the whole time, which is uh, thrilling, I know. But, you know, we were seeding on the map for the first time and... I don't know, maybe my excitement got the best of me and that's why I didn't hit the record button. But anyways... I know I did this time, <laughs> but anyways, that's what we're going to have to wrap it up for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you next time on Great Mountain Forest. But until then, have a good one. Now I got to look both ways before I cross the street with the traffic going around. <laughs>